Are you ready to start adding bones to your vector image? Let's get going. First thing we need to do is we need to select our object and you can see here it's the root. Now we're going to click on our bone. The way they showed me was a very logical idea was to start with a bone at the head, cover the eye and cover the nose, and then you can right click on your mouse if you have a double mouse, or you can hit your escape key, escape key and that will stop your bones. The next thing, the reason they do this is so that you're able to move the head. Now we're going to highlight the bone one and we're going to say we want to add bones and we're going to add it to bone one. So that's going to be another section of bones. And right click or hit your escape key. Now we actually now have all of our bones. So we'll turn the bone off and you can preview here. We can see with the, the back bone, we can, we can move the entire back end. And with the front bone, we can move the head area, the whole area. And then with the very front, we can move just his nose if we want. So I think we've got our bones set and our next lesson we're going to learn how to add our springs to it. I cannot wait. See you then. Have a great day, Diana.